Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a fucking ah, god damn it, hold on. Ah, fuck off. Sorry, I'm just trying to move around in my room. It's pretty cramped right now. I haven't cleaned it in a while because I've been sleeping a lot. So anyway. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to my mafia girlfriend. Now, <coughs> I read some of your guys' uh, comments, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, so far, it seems like everyone wants to be FBI bait, by the way, when it comes to... Uh, so when it comes to my dog girlfriend, so I guess we're going to be romancing Cat, but I haven't had the chance to grind for coins for that yet, so expect like another two days, or maybe a day, or maybe an hour, I don't know. It depends on how hard I want to grind. Anyway, I'm, I think I bought the, riot, the jewels for this anyway. I am so fucking tired, it's not even funny. <laughs> I haven't slept in like almost a day and a half. Because I've been fucking grinding to... Wait, now I gotta check to see if I actually bought uh, the things. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Oh my god, that took me so long to fucking get. <laughs> Alright, so let's get back to my mafia girlfriend. <clears throat> Lindsay and I look at Jen in surprise. Did she say... Did she do something to send the teacher away? Yeah, I think she did. Uh, wh wait, which one's Lindsay? <laughs> Lindsay's uh, pink hair, right? Yeah, she's pinky. Alright. Alright, so she's pinky and the other one's blinky. Alright, I got this. Let's do this. Just what are you? Jen smiles and holds out her phone. <clears throat> the screen is filled with complicated code. No way. Did you make his phone ring? How in the hell? That's right. Since I know you guys, it's a little secret now. I'll let you in on one of mine. She grins and then lowers her voice. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm a top class white hacker. Top class and white should not be in the same sentence. Because that is racist. I can find any information on any person you want. Make your phones, computers do things you don't want. Like show, like show up with like a bunch of gay porn. In my case, I'd be like, okay, where's the story though? <clears throat> and I can even rig arcade game machines to win. I feel like the volume is too fucking low for those. There, is that better for you guys? I hope it's so much better. She crosses her arms and beams proudly. All right, so <laughs> there was one commenter in particular who didn't care very much for genocide. And let me tell you, Mr. Real Abdul, I like Jen. She seems like a very nice person who wants to get me killed. <laughs> so we're going to actually start romancing uh, Lindsay when we get the chance. We're going to romance her so goddamn hard. You won't believe it. What? How on earth did you learn all that? <laughs> did I forget to mention that before? My dad is the police superintendent. I taught myself computers from a young age. Okay, so she's a basic Asian lady. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was racist. And learned everything I know about security and intelligence from watching him and, and going into his stuff. Hold on, did you say your father is- That's right! Oh no. No, we can't do this. Lindsay, for once I'm gonna agree with you. But I'm also not gonna support you. <laughs> and Murfox, let's go. Wait, what do you mean? Genocide just saved our asses. I know it says butts, but I, I, I like to be more adult and say asses. Cause you know, adults swear, you know. They don't all the time, okay? You know we don't associate with the police. She's not the police. Her dad's the police. <laughs> hey, no. I heard that. Come on, guys. I'm not the one in the police force. I don't like my dad at all. She could hand us over to the police anytime she wants. 
You're making a very good point. How do you know she's not trying to do that by getting close to us? She's not trying to get close to us, she's trying to get close to me. <laughs> hmm. Oh, crap. <laughs> I had a feeling that this option would be available sooner or later. All right. Well, Mr. Abdul, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do what you don't want me to do. I gotta trust her. I'm a very trusting person, okay? I don't even know if you're a mister, by the way, but... I have to trust her, because if I don't, then she might get pissed off, and she seems like she's very unstable, and very... and she's very obsessive. So why not have someone like that on your side working with you instead of against you? And plus, I think it would add a little bit more to the story. We're gonna trust her. I trust you, genocide! <laughs> Thank you. I knew you would, senpai. What? Did you just hear a word I said? Yes, I did. But she did just save our asses. She just saved my ass in particular. If she really wanted to turn us in, she could have done it already. And she would have done it already. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but you have a point. Yay. I knew we could be friends. I just had to believe hard enough. With that, the school trip came to an end. Crap, I'm running late today. I love how we skip uh, time here. This game is great. I rushed to the school with a piece of toast, half-eaten, dangling from my mouth. Toast isn't breakfast, okay? <laughs> I would know. <laughs> It's not very filling. I don't know how you people can live off of a fucking slice of toast. I eat half the fucking loaf before I'm satisfied. But then again, my body does require me to eat a lot, so... It's not because I'm fat. I'm not that fat. It's just... I get so fucking hungry in the mornings. It's insane. That's why I sleep through the mornings now. <laughs> Somehow, I didn't hear the alarm this morning. Alarms don't work with me. You could fire a gun right next to my ear and I still wouldn't wake up. Believe me, Dan has tried waking me up in, in our life, believe me. Lindsay should be there already. I approach the building and see a huge crowd. What the? I slow down a half jog. Just walk. Down the path. Looks like they're all looking at something on the walls. Flyers? Is it another school assembly? Just then, someone grabs my arm and yanks me into the bushes. I swear to God, if it's not some freaking goddamn freaking anime milf, then we're gonna have some problems. Oh wait, I'm not a lonely Shota. It's not gonna happen. Never mind. A hand clasps firmly over my mouth. Am I being kidnapped? Oh no! I hope nothing happens. Voice. Shh. It's me. You're really in trouble this time. Who is it? The hand lets me go, and I look up. It's Lindsay. Oh. I didn't realize we were cuddling. I do enjoy a good cuddle. What the hell, Lindsay? Shh! Lower your voice. At least tell your boy what's going on here. What do you mean, trouble? Why are we hiding? And what's with the crap? They're looking for you. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I didn't have any, like, suspenseful music or anything to play. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. We wait until the crowd dies down and everyone is back in class. Lindsay brings me to the wall. Ooh. Are we gonna get physical? I freeze in shock, horror, and pure lust. Oh no, who would? Covering the wall are a bunch of posters that made it look like a news article. A, boy, a bold print headline reads, Is he the son of a mafia boss? In the center of the article is a photo of me. Who could have done this? What do I do? 
I knew this would happen. Well, then why... Why do you follow me on my path of destruction? <laughs> oh, it's because you're best girl. I forgot, sorry. I keep telling you to be careful, but you just don't listen. Now, I listen. This is the thing that everyone has a problem with. I fucking listen. I just make my own decisions. I am my own person. I try to think quickly, but unfortunately, I'm a, I'm a complete idiot, and I can't think very fast. I know. I'll call genocide. If anyone can help us, she can. Are you insane? <laughs> a little bit. She's the prime suspect here. What? Are you suspecting second best girl genocide? Open your eyes. She's the only one who knows about you. No, honestly, I think it's a teacher. No. It couldn't be Ray. If it was Ray, we'd have a great big problem. I didn't get to read that because of the thing skipped. It's not about that, whatever that was. We both agreed to trust her. Now, I agreed to trust her. You didn't exactly. There's no way that genocide would do this because she loves me for some weird reason. She doesn't love me. She just likes manipulating me. Then who else could it possibly be? It could be Ray, like I think, or it could be that fucking asshole teacher dude. I don't know, but think about it. After the teacher the other day came in, it seems several people have raised suspicions about what he's looking for. If it was really Jen, she would have included you too. I suppose it would be a cruel prank in response to the rumor. You guys, it's not just a rumor, right? He he really is looking for mafia members. Us. Do you have a tattoo? Do you have a tramp stamp? Do you, what, what? Do you have a tattoo? But nobody else knows about that. Someone's just trying to cause a stir. I'm sure of it. You know, Jen is innocent. Then we can use her skills to help us. If you need to calm down. Look, Genocide is our friend. She's always trying to hang out with us, me. So I'm sure she will say yes if I ask her out and get again. Are you fucking kidding me? Three dates. <laughs> How many fucking dates do I have to go with to, with this woman? Why can't we just get one nice night with, with Lindsay? Hmm? I, I, I know you're probably like... But Amber Fox, why are you trying to play both sides? It's not that I am, it's just that I don't know who I like either. <laughs> I can use that chance to ask her some questions and see what she knows. Do you know what she realize she's trying to blackmail you? Well, she's not exactly white hacking mailing me. That was a terrible joke. Maybe this is exactly what she wants. Ever think of that? This is really getting out of hand. But I really don't believe genocide had anything to do with it. What should I do? Really? I spent all that fucking time grinding and you're gonna ask me to pay again? I literally played fucking Skyrim for seven hours just to get do something besides watch those fucking ads. You have any idea how boring Skyrim can get? <laughs> you have any idea? I literally <laughs> I watched so many ads in the loading times when fucking I was playing Skyrim, it was oh my god. And I have to do that again for Dog Girlfriend, because I only have like 200 points left. I'm, I'm smacking my bed post, by the way. <sighs> do I really want to ask her out, or do I not want to ask her out? I would end the video right here. But I'm not. Okay, so we have no regards for our, for our uh, w own well-being. I'm sorry, Lindsay, yet again, but I need to do this. Please don't hate me. I pull out my phone and text Jen an invitation to a lunch date that afternoon. He said yes, Lindsay. Well, that was a fucking quick reply. <laughs> Lindsay looks defeated. Don't give me that face, please. Anime girls being sad is my weakness, alright? It really is. <laughs> It's just hard to look at sad things in real life. It's like, you know, every time I look at myself in the mirror, you know, I get depressed because I'm like, well, who's this ugly bitch? Anyway, <clears throat> enough self-loathing for right now. Lindsay looks defeated, depressed, heartbroken. And I bet she loves our character more than genocide does. Oh no! <laughs> Ouch! I'm stupid! <laughs> 
Ember Fox, I trusted you. You can keep trusting me. I gotta go now. This is actually kind of sad. With that, I leave and get ready to meet Genocide. Look, at least I'm not thinking with my dick, alright? I don't fucking care about people on Facebook. They don't fucking care about me either. Anyway. Ember Fox, there you are! <laughs> there you are. She runs up and grabs my arm. I can't believe you asked me! Of all people in the world that she could ask, you asked me! Can you please ask me on a trip this time? My heart almost stopped. Almost. Thank you so much. She gives me a tight hug. Ah, uh, genocide, yeah. <clears throat> You're welcome. I hug her back. There's no way such a sweet, peppy girl could be the culprit. Some of the greatest demons wear the face of the innocent. Right. I pay her for her favorite lunch that day and carry it to the table. Oh, lunch tray. Oh, she's being such... She's being such a gentleman today. Have you finally accepted your feelings? What? There we go. She blinks at me cutely. I can't I can't do that. <clears throat> I never rejected them. I smile at her. Her face flashes wildly. Ember Fox. Why are you being so nice to me right now? You're melting my heart! Well, I suppose I wanted to show my thanks for the other day. You, uh... <clears throat> you really saved me. She's borderline yendere. <laughs> she really is. <clears throat> I don't have anything to drink, so... Bear with me if this doesn't sound correct. Of course! You know I would never, ever want anything bad to happen to you. Jen, do you uh, know about what happened today? What? My god, those eyes, my dude. <clears throat> the, uh, there were flyers. Uh, yeah, flyers everywhere. Oh. That. She looks away sadly. What? So you did know? Well, then why are you acting as if nothing happened? I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. I just got so excited that you asked me out instead of that bitch Lindsay. I just didn't want such a scary thing to ruin our dates. <laughs> I know if I brought it up that you would, it would be all you talk about. What do you mean? You knew all along? I'm sorry. Did you do that to get me to ask you out? Did you post the flyers? What? You honestly think I'd betray you like that? Of course not. Why are you accusing me? We're breaking everyone's hearts today, aren't we, everybody? And by we, I mean me. Her eyes well up with tears. Is this, is this why you asked me out? To yell at me? She begins to sob. Genocide. I feel bad now. I didn't want to make her cry. I just wanted answers. I don't believe this. All I do is try to help you. I just want to protect the one I fucking love. But I get accused. I get accused. I get accused by him again. Instead. Continue sobbing into her hands. Genocide, listen. Those tears are real. There's no way she's faking it. Those tears are not the ones of a crocodile. Suddenly I feel bad for even suspecting Jen in the first place. Jen, look, uh... I'm sorry. I sit beside her and I put my arm around her. And then she smacks me in the face. Very hard.
I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> R women in real life do not do this to me. This is new territory. This has only happened to me once in my whole life. And we're talking real life here. We're not talking about online or whatever. She turns to me and buries her face into my chest. She nuzzles slightly. And then bites into my chest, ripping out my solar plexus. And then she chews on my heart. This in genocide day. Uh, her tears soak my shirt. Thanks. Instinctively, I place my hand on her head and stroke her hair. Okie dokie. I'm sorry. Please don't cry. I didn't mean to say that. Slowly, she looks up at me. <clears throat> her red eyes are stained with tears. Here. I take a tissue from the table and softly wipe the tears on her cheek. Please, don't cry. I just got upset by the ovens. I didn't really think you did it. I actually didn't. That's that. She was not on the list of suspects. Really? So you trust me? Yes, genocide. I trust you with everything. She wraps her arms around me and leans her head into my chest. Thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. Uh, Jen. Listen here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, genocide, sorry. I wonder, do you think you can help me? You, you're really gonna do that? You're a fucking piece of shit, protagonist. Well, now she's far away. You want my help? <laughs> Her face brightens up. Oh, she's happy to help. Okay. I would be like, fuck you, pal. You accused me? And then you ask me something? No. You can't, you can't just apologize. But no, genocide's not like that. This is why she's fighting for number one spot in best girl. Yes, I'd do anything to help you. <laughs> anything I can do to be useful to you. I can think of a few things. No, not perverted things, just letting you know. I really want to know uh, who did this. I have to clear my name. Yeah, I know. I'm so worried about you. I thought I was the only one who knew your secret. She pouts. Genocide. You and Lindsay are both the only ones who know. Ray doesn't even know. But I'm betting it was Ray. I think it's just a cruel prank because of a rumor. But that's why we need to find out who it was. I think you can use your super nerdalicious hacking skills to find out something. Her eyes widen. You're right. Why didn't I think about that? I can try to hack into the security cameras? Can, you can do that? I look at her in surprise. Absolutely. It's one of the first things I learned. She beams. Wow, Jen. You're amazing. Jen blushes. You really think so? I love it when you compliment me. I mean it. She hugs me again and puts her hand over mine. Don't worry, Amber Fox. I've got this. I don't want anybody to hurt you. And if they do, I'll make the Holocaust look like a fucking bunch of kids with Play-Doh. I like you too much. Oh, okay. You don't love me. That's fine. It's okay. I got Lindsay anyway. She loves me no matter what. <clears throat> Please count on me. She leans on me for a little while longer until the bell rings. This time I didn't really, I didn't mind having her so close. Today was the most unnerving day of my life. It was hard to ignore the stairs, even sitting in the back of the class. I always sit, I always sat in the back of the class. Like I was always like um, far back in the right, mainly so that way I could like lean my head up against the bookshelf, but also so that way I could like watch everyone. 
you know, like I didn't have to turn my head too much and had to really move. Cause like when, the way I sat, like I kind of like, uh, like, uh, you know, like there's like the part where you like you're supposed to put your both of your legs forward. I put like my right leg there, and then like there'd be like the the end of that, you know. And I'd kind of like sit like that because so that way I could just you know relax and just lay back. But yeah, that's that's how I sat in class all the time. And if that seat wasn't fucking open, then I wouldn't go to class. <laughs> and then, yeah, you know, you're probably like, Amber Fox, why are you such a bad student? I wasn't a bad student, okay? It's just a lot of the classes I was in. I already knew what was going on in the classes. I wasn't learning anything. <laughs> Whenever they gave me work, I did it. Anyway, <clears throat> I have to hurry up and find the culprit. I'm not, yeah, enough about me. Oh, culprit number two? Yeah, number two. Uh, as I head home, I spot Ray coming towards me. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. No, no. Aw, oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, sweet mother dick lickers. No, that one doesn't work either. Oh, sweet mother of a Dollar Tree meth addict. That works perfectly. It's Ray. I wonder what she thinks about this mess. It never occurred to me that Ray could be behind this. Even though she's technically the real enemy here, there's no way she could know. Considering Mr. Pratt suspected her as well. And he was very correct, just like he was with me. We have to out detective and a, a detective detective. <clears throat> She's probably just as much of a target as I was. She probably still is. Oh, hi, Ray. I sheepishly look off to the side. Hey, Amber Fox, are you, are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm completely fine, you know, I'm not dying inside. I uh, saw the flyers. Did you? I was worried about you. Were you? Why were the fuck would you be worried about me? You don't... I can't... I can't like you. Sorry. Well, of course, that's a really serious accusation. Especially after what happened the other day with Mr. Pratt. What are you gonna do? How would you know? I don't know. Uh, what, what can I do? I don't know. I ask myself the same question every single day I wake up. I have no idea who did it or why. She looks at me, concerned. Amber Fox. She puts her hand on my back and comfortingly rubs it. Uh, Ray, can I ask you something? Ooh. These are minefields either way. We don't really talk to Ray, really. I mean, ever since I found out who she was, I haven't really, like, made a whole lot of effort to actually go talk to her or anything. But if I said, hey, what if it's true... Then she would be like, oh, no, it couldn't be true. <laughs> or she might be like, it is true. I knew all along we should stop playing this fucking game of words. And if I ask her, do you trust me? I don't, she doesn't really have any reason to, really. <laughs> I mean, after all, we did follow her home. And that was kind of creepy. We followed her on some random guy's bike that we never returned. We're going to go with, what if it's true? What would you say if it were true? What? About you being a Mafia member? She snort laughed. That is both the most adorable and unattractive thing about people when they laugh. <laughs> when they pull a snort, dude, I just... I don't know, like, sometimes I'll laugh, sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I don't know, it's just the way I am. Huh? Yeah, why are you laughing? Crisis avoided. Because of course I know that's not true. You're the last person I'd ever suspect that of. Her giggling calms down. But if it were true, hmm. I guess I wouldn't really care. Well, that makes one of us. Really? You wouldn't? I mean, you're a really nice guy. Yeah, who's going to inherit a, uh, a mafia, uh, a group, someday. And uh, probably will torture people to death. <laughs> you know, that that always gets the kids talking. Daddy, who was that little guy you tortured? Oh, it was just your godfather. Oh, yeah, he stole about $500 million. And uh, I had to flay him alive in front of his children. <laughs> you know, just those things. You know, just mafia things. Even if that were the case, I don't think it reflects your personality. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. 
After all, there are some people stuck in the Mafia with no choice. You're definitely talking about yourself and me. We don't really want to be there. Definitely, you're talking about yourself now. And me. She looks off solemnly. Is she talking about herself? I feel bad about lying to Ray, but there's no way I can let her know my identity. Especially since I know hers. Why don't you just ask her about it? <laughs> I would. I'd be like, hey. Are you in the Mafia? You know, it's just, it's not that fucking hard to do. Look, I know it's unsettling, but don't let it get to you. I'm sure we can find the culprit and clear your name. Oh, my nose is starting to act up. I'll help you. Really? Why the fuck would you do that for me? Of course, Tilly. What are friends for? Well, we don't really talk at all. <laughs> I mean, I kind of brushed you off on the field trip when you were clearly happy to see me. So, uh, you know. I've been kind of a crappy friend to you this whole game. <laughs> anyway. I'm sure your other friends would help, too. Well, I broke one of my friends' hearts completely. And, uh... I'm romancing the other one to death. And uh, then there's you, who I don't really talk to. I kind of avoid because I suspect you highly of being a huge problem in my life. But, you know, I could be completely wrong. Right. Thanks. Thank you so much. Well, it's true or not, the fact is I have to clear my name. As ASAP. There's no telling what kinds of trouble I could get into. But the question is, who would do such a thing? Being a Mafia member is a pretty serious accusation. Especially when we are both one. I just can't figure out who would want to do that. And why you, of all people? Suddenly she looks at me slyly. Don't you do that. Do you break some poor girl's heart? Maybe. What? No, I... She chuckles. Must have done something to somebody. Hmm. Now I'm actually going to think. Yeah, no, I haven't really heard anybody besides Lindsay, and I, I don't think Lindsay would betray me like that. Perhaps somebody's just jealous. Well, Lindsay's a very jealous person. Which, I mean, she can be. Ever since I met Genocide, she's kind of been pissed off at me most of the time. And doesn't really like the fact that I'm... That I like genocide more than her in the game. Although in reality, I, I kind of like both of them. So, you know, I, have, I like short haired girls and I like girls who have fucking, you know, colored hair in anime, you know. They have really interesting characters most of the time. You're a really smart, attractive guy after all. <laughs> Only one of those things is true in real life. And let me tell you, it's not number two. I blush. Uh, thank you. Just then, a voice interrupts our flirting. Sorry to interrupt your flirting, but I'm going to need you to come with me. I look up. It's douchebag. Yeah, it's the douchebag. There's always a dickwad or a douchebag or a fuckface or a fucking asshole in these goddamn games. And they always have to look like a jerk, too. It's Mr. Pratt. <clears throat> I should have known this would get his attention sooner or later. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, hello, asshole. I feign ignorance. Uh, is everything okay? Well, I know. Everything is most certainly not okay. Don't play dumb. I know we sh I, I'm sure you know exactly what this is about, you little fucking asshole. Oh, well, you need to calm down. Mr. Pratt looks at Ray. You can go home, young lady. My business is with this young man right now. Oh. She looks at me nervously and then walk nods and walks away. She mouths the words, good luck. Thanks! This is bad. Normally, I'm good at covering up my tracks. I have pretty strong alibis for most situations, but this was completely unexpected. Sorry, I'm just really thirsty. I haven't had enough time to collect any leads or evidence. Technically, the school hours are over, so I could easily make an excuse to rush home. But that would probably be look just as bad as having no alibi. I'm sure I could come up with something if I sit down and explain myself calmly. I might even be able to trick him and get his help. What should I do? Okay, first of all, I don't think he'd really fall for a trick. That's the thing. <laughs> but if we do nothing, then he'll definitely fucking find out. But then again, he could be a dirty cop. And I could use that to my advantage. We're going to fucking trick him, because why not? What else are these fucking jewels for? I understand, Mr. Pratt. I'll go with you. Mr. Pratt looks at me with surprise. Oh? Well, that was easier than expected. Thank you for complying. We head to his office. 
You better not have a Chinese chair, otherwise we're going to have some problems. Perhaps I was wrong about you. However, following school protocol, this is a serious matter that cannot be overlooked. I'm sure you understand. He slowly pulls out his badge from his pocket and flashes in my face. Here, look, I'm a cop, see? Dur, dur, dur. Oh, yeah, so he is a cop. He must be doing this to try to scare me. Consider this a police investigation. If you are innocent, then you should have nothing to worry about. I try, to, I try to keep my cool and play along. Maybe I can use the situation to my advantage. I understand, Mr. Pratt. In fact, I'm glad you came along. Oh, that's unusual. Why so? He literally looks like a guy who would be, like, the young version of some old-ass villain in, like, a really horrible anime. Or, like, when I, when I mean horrible, I mean, like, horror. Kind of. Not like, it's a bad anime. You guys know what I'm saying. It's like the younger version of some random anime villain, okay? There. Boom, I said it. He ducks away his badge, seemingly disturbed by my calm reaction. Well, I would really like to find the culprit and clear my name. Now knowing you're a cop, I'm actually very relieved. If anyone can help me, uh, <clears throat> who else would it be but you? Hmm. Of course, that is the purpose of this. His voice drifts off and he looks slightly bothered. Is he a nerd because I'm playing along so well? Of course, I cannot, affect, I cannot ignore the fact that you are being accused of something pretty goddamn heavy. Any clue that I, someone, would target you? Uh, not a clue, sir. Where do you live, Emma Fox? My aunt, sir, near Lakeside Park. She's ill. I take care of her. Is your aunt at home now? Yep. Sir. I wonder how she would react if I call her and explain the situation. I'm sure she would be very unhappy, especially in her sickly and frail condition. But I'm sure she will She will believe me and comply however she can. My father has established an alibi for me long ago. There is indeed a person de designated as my aunt located at that, that address and with that number. Apparently she's one of the top spies in the group and I've never met her in person. She sh But any teacher should... But should any teacher ever call that number, she would answer and play the role. I see. It was written here in your records, however. It, is being, it has been noted that you have been seen going home in the opposite direction recently. The direction of Zan Zanadu Resorts. A known hideout for one, of one of the most notorious games. Care to explain? There are many locations in that direction, sir. I run errands before going home for my aunt. Her pharmacy is in that direction. Have, uh, <clears throat> you been following me? Mr. Pratt narrows his eyes. We keep an eye on all of our students. Why? Do you have anything to hide? No, just a tattoo on my back. Excuse me, but how will exactly will this uh, help us find the culprit? He grits his teeth. Are my questions not making you nervous? No, I'm quaking in my fucking shoes. I'm not wearing shoes, but I'm quaking in my slushy. I don't have a slushy. I don't want a slushy. No, no. But the thought of su such a horrendous accusation is I can't speak today. That's because I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm hoping to finish school here, then go to a good college and uh, get an even better job in the future, like a male stripper. <laughs> That'd be a t that's a terrible job. <laughs> Although it would be really great to see myself in shape again, but those days are. Still on the road. I don't want the silly accusation to put that put all my future in jeopardy. Wow, this person actually cares about their future, unlike me. I care about my future, don't worry about it. I like your help in clearing my name. You seem like a serious student, Ember Fox. Here peers at me through a fran. Thank you, I'm uh, really trying hard. She press silent for a moment and stares at his desk as if confused. So he, I think... He, He's really trying to get me to slip some info. Did I throw him off? He's beginning to doubt his suspicions. Unfortunately, we won't know until the next episode. I want to thank you all for commenting on my videos because I do love reading your guys' comments because I never got comments before. But anyway, thank you guys for liking these series, these serieses so much. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm going to upload the next part of this as soon as this part's done uploading because... Why not? I, I still have grind to do for the dog girlfriend game. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
And don't worry, I'm not going to leave you all in suspicion for too long. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!